Hello everybody. Today I have a review of an iPhone slash iPod Touch application called Starfighter. Starfighter is a 2D arcade style space shooter. It is also a very simple game that uses both the accelerometer and touch capabilities to maneuver a spaceship and destroy enemy spacecraft. So here's Starfighter. When you launch Starfighter, the first thing that appears is the main menu. From here, we can resume a paused game, start a new one, view the instructions, as well as view the high scores. We can also change the settings and learn a bit more about this uh, app. So, the settings tab lets us set our name, which is used for the high scores, turn the sound effects on or off, and can set the control sensitivity. The lower the sensitivity, the slower your ship will go back or forth, meaning to the left or to the right. This basically means that the iPod does not sense very slight motions. So, if you turn it very slightly, it will not sense that. If you choose to set the sensitivity to a higher amount, the ship will move back and forth much faster. This means that the iPod senses the slightest of movements. I keep mine just over halfway. So let's go back and launch the instructions. The instructions are very simple. Tilt the device to the left or to the right to maneuver your spaceship. To fire a weapon, tap the screen. You may also hold down to continuously fire your weapons. After destroying an enemy spacecraft, it may leave behind one of two power-ups. The first one increases ship fire rate. The second, a large blue orb, equips the ship with a shield. The shield protects you from one of the enemy's weapons. So if you are hit, the shield protects you and then goes away. Let's, in, let's uh, launch a new game. So, right here. Let me demonstrate. There are various sizes of enemies, but each has the ability to fire. So I can maneuver through the enemies and then fire by pressing the screen. So I just got a power up, which makes me allowed to fire, and I also just got a shield. So when I have the shield, well there's another shield which extends the life. When I have a shield, if I, see I just hit into an enemy uh, laser, but I didn't die because I had a shield. If I don't have a shield, then I die. And my lives are counted up here, and I have no lives after this. So, let me show you again, and this time I'm going to try and do good. So, enemies can also be protected by a shield, and these enemies have to be shot twice twice before they are destroyed. Also, for every 10,000 points you get, uh, an extra life is added to your ship. So let me go ahead and demonstrate it again. New game. Oops. New game. Okay. Very simple, very simple controls. This app is only 99 cents at the App Store. Definitely worth it. Go check it out. So here's a shielded enemy. I have to hit the enemy twice before he's destroyed. Definitely better <laughs> when I'm not recording it. <laughs> As you've lasted longer, the waves, well not waves, the enemies get a bit harder to increase the challenge. So I'm sure maybe more will come, bigger ones that need to be hit more. Haven't got there yet. So after you die, you can check your high scores. Now here's where the names come in. Um, you can change the name, so if one of your friends wants to play, then they can 
set their names. So I have Player and Alex. So my high scores are tracked here, the top 10. So we have 16,000. So this is Starfighter. Overall, Starfighter is a pretty simple game with great controls. You can say that Starfighter is a decent game. The power-ups are neat and visuals are definitely arcade style. But something as simple as background music would have made it a bit better. I give Starfighter 4 out of 5 stars.